Hey everyone, welcome back to Plugin Tut, your home for handcrafted WordPress plugin tutorials. As always, I am your host, Matt, in my beautiful co-working uh, office location. We're gonna talk about custom post types today. What are custom post types? How do they live inside of our WordPress website? And do we need them on our next project? First, let's explain what WordPress does with posts and pages. This is the database. If you think of WordPress as your database of content, for all intents and purposes, your database is storing posts and pages within it, right? So we're all familiar with posts and pages, uh, but then all of a sudden, if we want to launch, let's say a bookstore, and there's you know hundreds of books that we want to sort of uh, display on our website, posts and pages really don't fit the bill. For the most part, you have your featured image, which you could always put a featured Im image up there, that's not a big deal. Post title, that could be your book title, and then a summary of the book. But what about additional images, or a book number, or a SKU number, or a price, if we're actually selling uh, these items? If you think of what the most popular custom post type is in the WordPress world, can you guess what that is? Probably not, it's WooCommerce products. <laughs> WooCommerce products are actually custom post types with custom fields, and that is what really separates a custom post type uh, from a traditional blog post, let's say, okay? Again, big featured image, post title, and either the content of your blog post or the content of your page is what makes up a traditional sort of post. And then we take those posts and we display them on the front end of our website, you know, in the collection of, let's say, a typical blog roll, uh, three or four highlighted services on our home page, uh, or maybe even a team page where there's a collection of uh, custom post types. Now, when we create custom post types, what we're doing is we're telling the WordPress database to say, oh, you have these posts, oh, you have these pages inside there, but now I wanna make another collection in my database. Maybe it's called books. And the books are gonna start out just like every other page or post inside of my WordPress database. We have a featured image, a post title, and a summary. But the powerful thing with custom post types and what many, many people do, because custom post types make WordPress a true content management system. When you think about the content management, you think about not just pages and posts, but staff, locations, all of these bits of content that you wanna store in this database and then display on your website. Now, what do we do with books? Well, we might actually have a price. So we might actually add a price field inside of this custom post type called books, okay? Along with price, we might do something like SKU number and so on, right? So we might just add these custom fields to this post type. And what that, what, not only does that solve for storing that information, right? Storing that data alongside of this, makes it easy for somebody to uh, input this type of content in the back end of WordPress. So if you're giving this to so another editor on the team, somebody who controls their specific content type of books, they can actually create their post uh, without having to sort of like put all of this stuff, right, the, the custom fields into your typical editor space, right? Because you know, what are you doing? You're like putting in the price, you're hitting enter a few times, and you're putting in the SKU number, and you're, and you're hoping to do that the same way every time across 100 different post types. It'll never, it'll never happen. Uh, plus, when we want to display this information, we want to display this on the home page of our website or any page, right? Again, if you think of WooCommerce as an example, you go to the shop page, and the shop page displays all of your products. It's doing it just like this. It's got the featured image, right? It's got the product image. It's got the product name, which in this case is the post title. It's got maybe a short description of what that is, but then it also has the price. And then it also has maybe the shipping weight and uh, how many are in stock or multiple prices. With custom post types, when you create these, typically what you're doing is telling WordPress, yeah, I also want those custom fields on the front end of my website. So when they click on an item over here, right, again, a product, a book, a real estate listing, it pulls this up, it pulls up your single view, it's what's known as the single uh, in WordPress, uh, with not only that content, but these fields, okay? That's what makes custom post types so darn powerful. And you can make these 
infinitely. Well, I guess I sh there's probably some techie out there that'll say, no, Matt, there's a limitation to about a terabyte of data or so on and so forth, depending on what database you're on. Um, so you can make these, hundreds of these, if you, if you will, to organize and create richer, uh, more broad, and just a sweeping different amount of content outside of pages and posts. Custom post types really makes it super easy. Now, on the channel and not in this video, we'll, I've covered many ways to create custom post types. Um, there are plenty of plugins out there. Maybe what I'll do is just leave them in the description of this particular video. I'm not going to cover them here. So I just want to recap where we're at with custom post types. We're looking in our WordPress database and our WordPress database says, hey Matt, we have posts and pages. And oh, by the way, you created a new custom post type called books. And then within the custom post type itself, let's say this is my books custom post type, I can have my featured image. I can create my post title. I can create a description about this book. And then, oh, by the way, I've added two custom fields. You can add as many custom fields as you want. It depends on what you're, what you're after, what type of content that we're displaying here. On the front end of your website, what, we're, what you're going to tell WordPress to do is, hey, display those custom post types, display that team directory, that book collection, that e-commerce store, display that on a specific page or on bits of that on my homepage and do uh, these specific custom fields, price of a house, square footage of a house, MLS number of a house. All of those custom fields, all of that data can be stored inside of custom fields, once again, attached to your custom post type. I hope that makes sense. I just wanted to stop a, a, a normal sort of tutorial uh, and give you a little bit of insight of, into custom post types and other things that you can do with WordPress uh, beyond sort of just the traditional plugin tutorial that we do here. Thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Hope you found it fairly useful. If you do, go ahead and thumbs up the video. Go ahead and like the channel. Subscribe to the channel. It's PluginTut.com. We'll see you in the next video.